Hey guys, it's Brian. I'm a filmmaker and a programmer. I spend a lot of my time helping out other filmmakers come up with cool things they can do on the web uh, to kind of help build audiences and um, make their whole film experience a little bit more interactive, a little bit deeper. Uh, so I thought um, a lot of you guys have seen some cool stuff going on on the web with films. Um, a lot of it involves Twitter and Facebook and mashups and things, but there's some really cool new stuff coming out. Uh, and I've been doing some experience, experiments, so I thought I'd share those to show you guys uh, where things are going. I'm going to start with a little demo I slapped together. Uh, it's based on uh, this software I built called um, Crowd Controls, which uh, is here demoed on the Iron Sky website. It's a great film, you should check it out. It's about Nazis from the moon. Uh, this here is a, an interactive Google map showing audience demand, how's it, how it's spread around the world. And each of these is kind of a big cluster of people. You can see that. Uh, it's been around a little bit. Um, so I made uh, use a thing called WebGL made a 3D version of this, which is really cool. So WebGL is a, it's built into the web browser. It's, it's based on the same technology that you know, used for video games and with the high-end graphics cards and stuff like that. Um, but it's all in JavaScript. There are no plugins. This runs right in the browser. Uh, you do need Firefox 4 beta or uh, a later version of uh, Chrome beta. Uh, so these aren't officially uh, released yet, but hopefully they will be soon. Um, and uh, it's it's pretty neat. It all, this is going to be in web browsers and it's it's standard um, it's a little bit difficult to, to implement but um, you know there's lots of documentation out there some great lessons that I'll, I'll post in the description of this video this is uh, I think it's pretty cool uh, this has a lot of people do planet demos but I wanted to do something that was a little bit more kind of oriented for the web so this is pulling the data straight off of that crowd control server. It's it's live. It's the same data that goes up on the website. If somebody changes it, submits, makes a new submission, that'll be reflected here as well in real time. There's lots of room for improvement. Um, I'd like to see. I'd like to make them interactive, so I can click on them and bring up some more information there. Uh, I'd like a better design. I think the spheres are ugly, you know, and fine tune some other things, but. Uh, I think it looks good. I'm pretty happy with it. Uh, the frame rate's great there. It drops a little bit because I'm recording this video. But, uh, you know, it's uh, it's pretty cool. I'm excited about it. So uh, stay tuned. I'm going to report on some other things I'm doing with WebGL, things that I think are even more interesting and cooler looking than this. Um, so find me on my website or here on YouTube or on Twitter. I'll, I'll post some links there and uh, check out more stuff coming up. Thanks for watching.